Hi, I'm Jessica Schur here with Her Flicks at Sundance 2014. Couldn't make it up to Sundance making that track. We have some wonderful interviews for you. Here we go. All right, I'm back here with another wonderful woman filmmaker, Tracy Dos Tregos. And you're here with an incredible documentary. Um, I'd like to just talk about, you know, Rich Hill came to you, and how did you find the story was something that you had to share with the world? Well, Rich Hill is my family hometown, and I grew up spending summers and winter breaks there, and it was always a place that I love to visit, but I've seen it really fall on hard times, and businesses close, and nothing comes back, and you can see the population dwindle, and for many of the families that are still there, they're struggling. So my co-director and first cousin um, and I hatched a plan to sort of understand what was happening to our family hometown. And, um, and then we met kids and were invited into their home and that's when we really found the heart of our story. And these three young boys, did you know that they were gonna be the heart of your story? Not at first, I mean at first we cast a very wide net and we were just there and talking with all kinds of people and um, but when we went inside the homes and met their families, and they were so welcoming and warm to us, and at the same time, we saw um, how little they had and, and the challenges that they were facing. Did you find yourself feeling vulnerable in that situation where you're in someone's home, you've never been there before, you don't know them? In the first day, did it feel like the first day of school, or and then it changed over time? Well, there's a lot of trust on both sides, and you kind of feel each other out, and I think we made a connection pretty quickly with, um, you know, I, I connected with both the boys and the mothers in the film, um, or grandma in one case. Um, so, you know, and when you make a connection with someone, it's you, you know that you have a connection. So um, there was a lot of mutual trust. And did you find uh, any challenges on your journey? In filmmaking, I mean challenges. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's independent filmmaking. There's a hornet's nest of challenges, whether it's logistical or financial or technical, all kinds of challenges. I mean, our subjects often um, didn't have a phone or didn't have internet access in their homes. So the way that we would communicate um, when we would you know, come again to visit them was through Facebook and they would be at the library and they would try to tell us what had happened. That was a real challenge, was to just stay in touch, to stay connected with them when they didn't have the means really to stay connected with us. And sometimes it meant that we just had to get there and start asking around and, well, do you know where Andrew's living now? Do you know? So. As far as, um, you know, filmmaking as a woman, have you found challenges in, in filmmaking? Absolutely. I mean, I, um, I'm, I'm a mother. I have two little kids, uh, five and eight, and it is, it's, it's a balancing act, and I think that's in large part, um, you know, one of the things that um, makes me a better filmmaker, um, but also raises some logistical challenges sometimes. My strength as a filmmaker um, is story and connecting with people, especially as a documentary filmmaker. Um, I think that uh, when I'm talking with people, um, I, I really strive to connect with them on an emotional level. The world premiere of my film is tonight, um, and I'm thinking about how it's going to connect with audiences. So, I mean, what I'm thinking about is, you know, I want this film to touch people and reach people and, and not fail at that. And this has been a Herflix moment.